So when we talk about the top five business loans for a fair credit, no income proof, here is a review that you are really expecting. Number five, we have Funbox. Our score, 8.8 .8 over 10. So when you're thinking about a business loan for no income proof and fair credit, Funbox is a great candidate. I said they're a great lender. They're great for business lines of credit. They're great for business loans. And what we love is that uh, they are really one of the true, the, 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 the few true no doc lenders out there, you know. So they're not going to ask you a lot of things. If you don't have uh, income proof, it's okay. You can have state of income. They will work with you. Not a problem. They, they will ask you to have a minimum credit score of a 570. Okay. The loan term can go from 12 to uh, 24 weeks. And what we love is that uh, they will actually work with you to uh, convert the business line into uh, a business loan and vice versa. Okay. And the, the only thing that we don't like about, I mean, so here are the pros and cons for a fund box. Pros. They are a true no doc business line of credit or business loan lender. You have approval within minutes and uh, they have low time and business requirements when it comes to uh, So they're asking for six months. Sometimes they'll ask for nine months. Okay. Here are the cons. You must use eligible accounting software and bank accounts. So they want you to actually uh, mix, I mean, not mixed. They want you to link your your uh, business account to uh, your bank account to their system so they can check in real time your uh, cash flows okay and they do have some fees though and uh, they have a low maximum credit limits of 150,000 then that goes for the business loan also okay so loan amounts or line of credit amount can go from 1,000 to 150,000 and uh, terms again 12 to 20 12 to 24 weeks okay one thing we love with uh, Funbox is that their customer service is really great. So they will work with you. I, I've said this before in terms of flexibility, in terms of guiding you, in terms of explaining things to you. And there is a possibility, depending on the state you're applying from, to actually have a soft pull. So this is really good. We love that a lot. And one thing I also want to say here is that when we talk about business loan, fair credit, no income proof, Funbox is great because they actually allow you to reapply so if you have uh, successfully borrowed and repaid whatever you borrowed they allow you to have they actually give you a discount as a repeat customer so this is really great number four we have here fora financial our score nine over ten by the way welcome back to the show really uh, is a pleasure to have you here and uh, so when you think about Fora Financial and you think about no income proof business loan for fair credit, Fora Financial is really great. They have a constellation of loans, of business loans, but they're really great when it comes to merchant cash advance, okay? And uh, so it's because every lender has their own specialty. And for Fora Financial, of course, they give, uh, they actually, they'll help, they'll take care of you for other loans. But if you're looking for a merchant cash advance, this is really where their specialty is. This is what uh, their strength, their forte lies, okay? Here are the pros and cons for Fora Financial. So pros, they usually only require three months of credit card statements. If you were to go with uh, their uh, Merchant Cash Advance uh, program, and they have low factor rate, and they have no minimum credit score, and no income proof at all. They're not asking you to link to link up your, uh, bank statement, your bank account to their system, none of that they want you to have a credit card statement but if you choose another program they might have you they might ask you other requirements so this is important for you to check okay and uh, in terms of the, their cons it can take days to fund they do have uh, every now and then a negative customer reviews and some business may have to provide documents depending on your sector depending on the field you're in okay so loan amount here you're looking at five thousand all the way to half all the way to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars so we have three quarters of a million okay the apr varies and the minimum credit score 670 it goes from 600 to 670 okay loan terms four to 15 months so you can see that the loan term the repayment window is kind of small it's kind of limited okay so if you're looking for a loan with the long maturity you're not going to have that with for our financial for our financial they give you the cash with uh, no income proof but they're asking you to repay the loan within a short uh, within a short period of time okay in terms of requirements sometimes they'll ask you for for 12 months at least 12 months of operational history okay and uh, no open bankruptcy so if you have had issues with uh, the bankruptcy law in the past 
you're not going to qualify. So business loan, fair credit, no income proof for a financial $5,000 to $750,000. Our score, 9 over 10, number 4. Number 3, we have on deck our score, 9.1 over 10. And uh, I just want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having, uh, we're talking about the top five business loans, fair credit, no income proof. And on deck is really cool. And on deck is great for short term business loans for fair credit, no income proof. What we love is that on deck is an online lender that specializes in short term loans and lines of credit for small businesses. It only requires most borrowers to submit three months of business bank statements, which you can download from your online bank account. Okay, They're not asking you to link the, your system to their system. They're not asking you for income proof. They just want to have bank statements. Again, it's really important because they just want to analyze your cash inflows and cash outflows so they can have some visibility into your uh, into your liquidity trends. Okay. Well, the, so here are the pros and cons when it comes to on deck as a, a business lender for fair credit, no income proof. So the pros, they only require three months of bank statements. You have same day funding available. OK, they have reduced fees for repeat borrowers. So this is kind of kind of similar to what the uh, fund box does. The cons, you have a high starting APR of twenty nine ninety nine, twenty nine nine percent. You can choose between a prepayment penalty or higher rates. They, and they do require some documents, okay? So they're, they're not asking you for income proof, but they do require some documents. In terms of loan amounts, they will grant you somewhere, anything from 5000 to a quarter of a million, okay? 5000 to a quarter of a million. The APR goes from 29.99 to 99.99. So this is kind of high. So this is a very high APR. So we love the fact that they are very generous in terms of giving you the cash you want. But uh, phew, boy, 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 this rate is really high. OK, and this uh, this is really a discouraging rate. But hey, listen, it is what it is. Minimum credit score, 625 loan term, three to 24 months. So you have to see you can see here that the repayment window is is, uh, is kind of short. Also, OK, you will see. And in terms of uh, the requirements, they, they want one year in business. So if you want fair credit, no income proof business loan, if you want a business loan from on deck at those, uh, with those conditions, make sure that you have been in business for at least one year. Okay. This is important. They want you to have an active business checking account. Also, this is important. Okay. So on deck, our score 9.1 over 10. Number two, we have national funding, our score. 9.5 over 10. So when you think about the, if you're looking for a business loan for fair credit, no income proof, national funding is a good player. And national funding has a, a constellation of business loans, but uh, we love the fact that we love their equipment loans, okay? And so they are an online lender. We actually are class, we categorize them as uh, an alternative lender. And uh, so if you are looking for an equipment loan, they just ask you to have a quote from a vendor when you apply, okay? And they they only offer they only offer equipment financing up to one hundred fifty thousand dollars, and uh, so they're not as they're not they're not fast, but they they are very flexible. So with with the national funding, you have to uh, compromise. So you compromise between speed and uh, flexibility and generosity. So. The uh, one thing you need to do, let me just kind of uh, go a little granular here. So here are the pros and cons. So national funding, the, uh, here are the pros. They only require vendor quotes for equipment loans. Okay, For other loans, they don't require anything. They have low rates compared to online lenders. And they have a simple application compared to other, other loans, specifically um, equipment loans. Okay, Here are the cons. They can take 24 to 72 hours to get approved, which is not really ideal if you're looking for cash real fast, okay? And they only finance up to $50,000, $150,000, so that's the minimum, that's the maximum. So if you are looking for a business loan for fair credit, no income proof above $150,000, you're not going to get it with through, uh, through a national funding. And they do require some documents, okay? Yes, they do not require income proof, but they do require some documents. 
and so the loan amount here you're looking at five thousand to half a million and the apr is now stated minimum credit score 600 and the loan term four to 24 months so this is and they want you to be uh, to be in business at least for six months and make at least uh, a quarter of a million in annual sales if you are able to justify your income if you're not that's fine too okay in other words they're kind of open that that goes back to the flexibility i spoke about so if you if you can actually prove that your income fine if not that's fine too okay now other loan types have additional requirements depending on your geography depending on your sector so things that you need to know about and uh, some, something i also want to say here is that uh, national funding is constantly improving their business loan offer so we love that a lot Number one, the best of the best, we have Lendio, our score, 9.8 over 10. So when you think about Lendio, it's a great business loan for fair credit, no income proof. Now, Lendio, by the way, I want to quickly just to remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about the five, the top five business loans for fair credit, no income proof. Okay, Lendio is not a direct lender. Lendio is not a lender. So if you apply through Lendio, you're not going to get a loan, a business loan from Lendio. Lendio is a marketplace. Very important to, to, to remember. Lendio is a marketplace that allows you to actually uh, connect to multiple business lenders who, who will ultimately give you a business loan for fair credit, no income proof. As a matter of fact, they have about 75, they have 75 to 80 business lenders on the platform. So what will happen here is that you can actually uh, even pre-qualify for a range of uh, business loans and business lines of credit with just a few clicks and you can compare the terms you might qualify for with different no paperwork providers that's what we love uh, we love uh, lend you a lot and but one thing i need to say here is that please make sure that you reach out to the direct lender the lender you are interested in working with to make sure that that lender does not require any paperwork before you continue your application as you continue with your application so here are the pros and cons of lendio pros they partner with over 75 lenders you have a wide const you have a wide constellation of uh, different types of financing programs and you have options for bad credit or no income proof here are the cons lendio is not a direct lender and some lenders may require paperwork. So since you have a diversity of lenders, some lenders might ask you stuff that you don't want to provide or that you are not expecting. So things that you need to know, okay? Things you need to know. This is really important. And the loan amounts here with Lendio, of course, we have we have a flexibility. We have diversity. Think about it. You have up to 75 lenders, so you do have the uh, the monetary bandwidth here, okay? You have lenders that have... They have a stronger balance sheet, a larger balance sheet, whereas some uh, some other lenders will have a smaller balance sheet. So in terms of loan amounts, you're looking at 500 all the way to 5 million. So you can see that the delta here, delta really, really huge delta, okay? And the starting APR is 6%, minimum credit score 570 to 600. And loan term, the loan term can go from one to 25 years, okay? And so if you wanna qualify, you gotta operate a business in US or Canada, and you gotta have a, a business bank account, okay? So personal credit score, I just said it, six, uh, 570, 550 to 600. So overall, Lendio is a great choice. Lendio is a great uh, opportunity. Lendio, our score, 9.8 over 10. If you have made it so far, I just want to I want to bless you with the bonus here. And uh, in the in the re in our research, we have come across Upstart, and Upstart is a great player that I want to share with you today. Uh, they also the Upstart used to be big when it comes to uh, personal loans, and uh, they have actually been uh, shifted. They're still doing personal loans, but they're they're doing now uh, business loans also. And so Upstart, our score eight point five over ten. And uh, so Upstart may be the closest to a no, to a true no doc lender. It offers small business loans from five thousand to two hundred thousand dollars with an instant credit decision and same day funding for many applicants. Okay, no documentation whatsoever is required when applying, and after the credit decision you may only need to submit a few documents to receive fundings but many borrowers are not required to submit anything 
else to receive funding. But Upstart is not available in all states, so you may be required to personally back the loan and there is a 4 to 6% origination fee. If you want to escape the PG, there are ways to do this. We have actually explained this on other shows. So if you are interested, just let us know. We'll just explain everything to you. Matter of fact, we actually came up with a video with a video that explains the Upstart business loan application process from A to Z. So if you are, just let us know in the comment section. We'll certainly link you. We'll certainly link up this. Uh, we'll bring the... Uh, the, this video off so you can go watch it okay so here are the pros and cons of uh, upstart pros no documentation required for a credit decision you have instant funding available most customers review or reviews are positive and uh, credit score 550 all the way to 750 okay here are the cons upstart as a business loan for fair credit no income proof is not available in Nevada New Hampshire Maryland, West Virginia, and I or Iowa. Okay, those states they're still working out through. They were they're still uh, working through the uh, regulatory banking. Uh, I would say uh, processes to make sure they are available. And Upstart is not uh, is not suitable for startups. They do charge an origination fee from uh, that goes from four percent to six percent. So something to really think about. In terms of loan amount, I just said it. It goes from five thousand to two hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Credit score is really low, 550. Loan term, one and two years. So one and two years, we have here again, we have a shorter repayment window. So things you have to think about. And in terms of uh, the business structure you need to have, you can't be, you cannot be a sole proprietorship. You have to be a business. So you gotta be registered as an, uh, registered as an LLC, LP, S Corp or C Corp. Very important. Before we close to this conversation, let me give you an overview. When we talk about business loans for fair credit, no income proof, there are a few things you need to really know so that you pick the right lender, okay? And you need to understand how no income proof business lenders work. Now, so a no income proof business loan for fair credit doesn't mean you won't fill out any forms. It just means you may not be required to complete paper forms or fax documents about profitability to your lender. Okay, so the lender is not really interested in uh, knowing a lot more about uh, your business in terms of profitability. And in some cases, you can get around document requirements completely by connecting with uh, your business's other online accounts. So this is particularly common with e-commerce seller financing or other types of uh, collateralized loan, collateralized lending. Okay? And, and this is uh, especially true if you're borrowing from a platform like PayPal or Amazon or Shopify, for example, but that, that's for e-commerce. What I want to say here is that some lenders are low doc rather than no doc. So, so they're not asking you uh, anything, but they will add, they're not asking you your income proof, but they will ask you other stuff. Okay, so they will require you to submit an online application and PDFs of a few key documents. You might also need to, to give them access to certain business accounts for verification. So this is really important. So now the question is, how do you find the best business lender for fair credit and no income proof? There are a few questions you want to ask yourself to ascertain the to to sort of finalize to sort of crystallize the the lender the business lender that you want. Okay, you gotta ask yourself: Is this uh, the right loan for what I'm trying to accomplish? Ask yourself that because you need to find the the right loan type for your needs. Okay, what do you what do you, what what exactly do you need to finance? So this is actually will guide your decision making. Very important. And can this lender? give me all the funding I need. Remember that some lenders have uh, limitations in terms of uh, loan amounts. For example, you have a uh, you have a um, lender that goes all the way to half a million, I mean 5 million. You have national funding that stops at uh, 150,000, so there are limits, so you got to be comfortable with that. Are the rates and fees competitive? Okay? And remember, you can often save more with the lenders that offer with the lender that offers you a low APR that makes sense that's pure logic okay and how long will it take to get your money to get so think about the funding the funding speed also and most important do you meet the eligibility requirements so you probably don't want to waste your time applying with lenders you don't qualify for so those are so this is part of the preliminary planning that you have to really engage in to make sure that you have the right lender Let me give you a few pro tips a few pro tips before we close to this conversation. So when we talk about let's say uh, 
business loans for fair credit, no income proof. You have to understand, you have you you're not going to get a a business loan from a bank. Okay, so as you can see, Fundbox, Fora Financial, OnDeck, National Finding Lendio, all those players, they are online lenders or alter alternative lenders. Okay, and it's important you have to make a decision because when you go to a, a traditional bank, let's say you go to a, you go to a bank or you go to a credit union, the rates there are lower, the APR is lower, the repayment window is more flexible. They're more generous. They'll they'll give you five years. In some cases, they'll give you seven years, okay? We've seen business loans where you're given seven years. The only problem is when you say no income proof, this is where the problem starts. The, a bank is not going to give you a business loan with no income proof. Unless, and this is a big unless, unless you have a strong balance sheet, I mean, a strong set of uh, financial projections, you have, um, you have been with the bank for a long time, so they do have your business relationship. They do have your personal relationship. So they can actually uh, sort of guess your uh, liquidity trains through your uh, movements in your bank accounts. And you also have a business plan. But banks generally are risk averse. Okay. Uh, and so are credit unions. So they're not going to give you money without relying on some kind of uh, income proof. Okay. And so this is something you, for you to know. So as you are making your decision, just know that uh, no income proof business loans are they re, they do rarely exist with banks and credit unions. So now they are so so basically that means you only have to go with uh, online lenders and alternative lenders. Let me give you some alternatives to no income proof business providers, business loan providers. Okay. So if you are still thinking about other players that you are interested in. Then uh, here are here here they are. So you have a uh, Rock Financial. So that's a R O K Financial. You have Big Think Capital, another big player they to for you to consider. You have Smart Base SBA loans. So Smart Base does more than SBA loans, but uh, they you know they actually are stronger when it comes to uh, U.S. Small Business Administration loans. And then we have Landing Tree. Landing Tree also can provide you with uh, some kind of information about business loans. Okay, now those business loans, some of them are not true, no income pro business loans. So you might need to provide some type of uh, revenue revenue uh, confirmation. But uh, they they are very generous when it comes to loan amounts. They're very generous when it comes to uh, repayment windows. So we just thought it might be worth including them here. Before I do a recap, let me just give you the approach. I really want to explain to you how we go about analyzing the business loans we review on this show. And so here is a video that actually talks about how we analyze, how we categorize, how we list business loans for no income proof on this show. Check this out. <laughs> I want to quickly review. I want to quickly review and recap today's conversation. So, number one, we have Lendio, nine point eight over ten. Number two, we have uh, National Funding, nine point five over ten. Number three, we have Undeck, nine point one over ten. Number four, we have Fora Financial, nine over ten. Number five, we have Fundbox, eight point eight over ten. And then in the in the bonus category, we have uh, Upstart, eight point five over ten. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay. Marvelous.